Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. This video is for all you Amazon Fire Stick users out there that are sick and tired of all the extra crap you see on your home screen. The constant ads and recommended content is enough to make you throw the remote at your TV. Buy this, rent that, you might enjoy this, you need to have that. Not only is all this stuff a nuisance, it's also using up valuable resources on your device, causing it to run slow and less responsive. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install this. It's called the Wolf Launcher. It's absolutely free to use and really fun to set up. With the Wolf Launcher, you show the apps you wanna see and only the apps you wanna see. It lets you organize them into sections that are fully customizable. Even the icons used for the apps are adjustable. You can also upload a custom wallpaper for the background if you're so inclined. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to get and install the latest version of the Wolf Launcher for your Amazon Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick. So if you're ready to say goodbye to that obnoxious Fire TV home screen and say hello to having it your way, grab your remotes and let's go. The two questions I get asked most by new cord cutters are, do I need a VPN and which VPN is best? The short answer to both of those questions is it depends. If you're someone who takes their privacy seriously and enjoys unofficial streaming apps or torrenting, you should use a VPN to keep your information encrypted and private. The VPN I recommend depends on where you live. If you're here in the US like me, I'd suggest trying IPVanish. It's the fastest and helps minimize buffering. While here in the United States where nearly everything is available, unblocking content isn't as important. If I were outside the US, however, I'd suggest ExpressVPN. I feel it does a better job at un-geoblocking the content available here in the US while you're not. In either case, if you're in the market for a VPN subscription and would like to try either one, you'll find links in the description below for the best price you'll get anywhere. Clicking on these links also helps in a small way to support the Cord Cutters Ally channel. Okay, so before we get started in installing the Wolf Launcher, I just want to point out that I am on the Fire TV Stick 4K, and this comes with Fire OS version 6. The Wolf Launcher works on any Fire OS version 6 or above. So if you have an older uh, Fire Stick or Fire TV device with version 5, um, that won't work. So it's 6 or better. So the 4K, the 4K Max, the, the new Cube, um, the second generation, third generation Cube, Fire Stick Lite, all of these will work for this. So starting at the home screen, the first thing you want to do is go over to the gear. And we need to change one setting before we can get started. Click on the gear and then go down to My Fire TV. You want to go to Developer Options. Now, if you don't have Developer Options on your Fire Stick, no worries. Um, this could be because you have an update recently that came into your Fire Stick or it's a new Fire Stick. I made a video recently that shows you how to get those back really quickly and easily. So go ahead and check that out. I put a link in the description below. But let's assume that you have Developer Options. Go into that and then go down to where it says apps from unknown sources and change that from off to on. It's gonna give you a little blurb here and tells you what's going on You click turn on and then we can hit the home button. Next, we'll actually go into downloader and we're going to get everything we need from the cordcuttersli.com website. So enter in the short code for that, which is 893, six, four, and go down and click go. That will redirect you to the, as it says here, cordcuttersli.com website for a few seconds, just to verify that you know where you're going, which is always good. When you get there, you're gonna to wanna to hit the hamburger button on your remote twice. That brings you to full screen, makes it a little easier to do what we want to do. Go over to the menu button over there, click on it, and go down to tutorials. Now I've been adding tutorials like crazy to the Cord Cutters Ally website. Um, browse around, go ahead and see what's here. But the one we're interested in today is right here where it says Wolf Launcher for Fire TV devices and click on that. Brings you to the page where the launcher instructions are, it gives you some screenshots here about what it looks like, some step-by-step -step instructions. Feel free to read them if you want. But what we're most interested in is down at the bottom of the page. Two things actually I wanna show you at the bottom. 
The first is the Wolf Launcher for Fire TV itself. This is the download for that. Um, and then, as I said earlier, you can upload images that can be used as wallpaper on the Wolf Launcher. I've added a few of them to my website. So let's go ahead and click on this link, and I'll show you that before we go ahead and install the launcher. So here I have, there's a nice beach scene um, for, a wall, for a background. Northern Lights, which is the one I showed you in the demo earlier. And then we also have a Starry Night here. Let's go ahead and download Starry Night here. Um, you're going to want to download the one that's for your TV. So if you have a 1080p or an HD TV, go ahead and download that one. Otherwise, go ahead and click the 4K. I have both of them available for you. Click download. And we're not going to open it, and we're not going to delete it, obviously. Just click done, and we'll come back to it. Um, I'll show you later where you can add that or change the wallpaper on your Wolf Launcher when we get to that. So now let's go back to where that download was for the Wolf Launcher. It's right there. So click the download button. It's only 3.3 .3 megabytes, really small. You want to move down and go over to install and click it. Click done here. Don't open it quite yet. A couple of things we want to do. Move to the right, click delete move to the left and click delete. That gets rid of the installation file because we no longer need it. And let's click the home button. Now, one thing I suggest is to put the Wolf Launcher front and center on that favorites bar here, uh, because unfortunately, Amazon made some changes recently uh, with some of the updates and they broke a couple of the features of the Wolf Launcher, one of which being if you hit the home button while you're in the Wolf uh, Launcher screen, it brings you back out to this Fire OS uh, old school screen. So this is why we want to put it at the front. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Hold in the home button. And then move over to apps. As always, the last thing that was installed um, is always going to be at the bottom of the list. So let's move to the left to jump to the bottom. And you'll see that W icon, that's where the Wolf Launcher is. Hit the hamburger button on your remote briefly, and then move down to where it says move to front. And then you can hit the home button again. And there it is, it's at the front of the screen. And now let's go ahead and open it up. Now the first time you open it up, it's gonna take a little longer than normal because it's kind of building everything. It's um, taking a look at what apps you have installed on your device, kind of throwing them all onto that screen. It's going to put them all in one place with a blank background that we will see in a moment. So here we are. We have a right now a black background. All of the apps on the Fire Stick are here. You know, this is uh, very clean. Uh, no you know, advertisements flashing across the screen, not trying to sell you anything and so on. This, as I said, is fully customizable. Um, the screen I showed you earlier, I'm gonna actually go into um, restore a backup of that. I had saved it earlier. So if we long press the select button, not pointing to anything specific, and we go into other settings, one of the options here is to restore. After you get this um, screen exactly the way you want it, you're gonna want to do a backup. And this saves the file um, on your Fire Stick. Even if you remove the Wolf Launcher at some point and reinstall it, you can still restore the configuration. Um, you know, in other words, all of your apps, where they are, what they look like, the wallpaper, all that stuff will be restored. So let's click the restore button and let's see what happens. At the bottom of the screen, it says settings re restored successfully. And as you can see, it looks just like it did earlier in the introduction. At the top of the screen, I have all the streaming apps here. In the middle, I have the utilities. And at the bottom, I have a couple of app stores. Your screen might look much different than this, depending on what apps you have. I just kind of loaded it up just to kind of show you what it can do. Um, all of these apps can be fully configurable. The icons can be, can vary. You can change the text on some of these. You can change the background on them, even the shape. Like for example, if I long press the Netflix app, you can go to configure 
and you can go down and actually change that uh, the radius around it. You can make it square like it was, or just keep it round. I kind of like the round look. All sorts of other options available for the apps. You can move them around as well. If you want to, let's say you want to move, um, you use Peacock more often. You can hold that, long press the Peacock app and hit move and move it wherever you want and drop it. And it's as simple as that. The wallpaper, as I said, is changeable. You can change the background. Again, you long press the select button without pointing to anything specific and go into launcher settings and you go into wallpaper. You can now select the wallpaper. And again, we downloaded it into downloader. So if we go to select wallpaper, go into the internal storage and move down to downloader, we'll see that starry night image that we had and click on it. Give it just a moment and this will change the screen to that new wallpaper. And there we go. So again, fully customizable. You can name these sections here. I've named them streaming apps, utilities, and app stores, but you can name them whatever you want. You can put them in any order that you want. Again, fully customizable. All the apps you want and none of the apps you don't. So there you go, a quick, tutorial on how to install the Wolf Launcher. I'm curious if you uh, give this a shot and play with it and let me know what you think about it. Put some comments down there below the video and let me know what you think about it. As always, I appreciate you liking the video, sharing it with a friend. And of course, if you're not already subscribed to the Cord Cutters LI channel, please do so so you don't miss out on any videos as they come out. Thanks for watching.